Scotland currently has one of the highest death rates from fire in the whole of Western Europe. The majority of people who die in fires do so within their own homes. Tayside Fire and Rescue's mission is to protect the community by providing the highest standard of fire safety and emergency response services to all the communities we serve. In order to achieve this mission, we are working more closely with all of the communities to reduce the unacceptably high levels of deaths and injuries from fire. If we are to be truly serious about increasing community safety, if we are to be serious about reducing the unacceptably high death rate, injury rate and the devastation and destruction which is caused by fire, if we are to be serious about protecting life and protecting property, then more work requires to be done. This work is in the form of installing sprinkler systems within the residential environment. Sprinkler systems do far more than merely alert the occupants to the fact that there is a fire within the home. Sprinklers detect that a fire is present, sprinklers operate to control that fire, and in many occasions actually extinguish the fire, and importantly, they prevent the formation of toxic fire gases which kill the majority of people who die in fires, and they reduce the toxic effects of smoke, giving occupants far more chance of survival should they experience a fire within their home. Well, first of all, either a member of the public has to detect that a fire has actually happened. If it's a fire in a house at 2 o'clock in the morning and the people within that house are sleeping, then we rely on passers-by or other people who are awake within the neighbourhood to actually discover the fire in the first place. Then we would hope that whoever discovers the fire immediately dials 999, asks for the fire and rescue service, and they will be put through to our fire and rescue control centre. Fire and Rescue Control Centre will then take all of the details uh, from the caller with regards to what is on fire and, and where it's on fire and if there is any people trapped. Hello Fire and Rescue. A fire in the house in Harris Terrace. Right, so you're saying there's flames coming out of the bed. Do you have a number in Harris Terrace? I don't, I don't know the number. There's no number on the house, but there's a long post mark right at the top of the cul-de-sac. It's a bottom floor flat, yeah. and it's at the top of the cul-de-sac. Do you think there's anyone in the house? Not, not it, is it not your house? No. It's not my house, but the house is well alight. It goes really well. Right, the house is well alight, but you think there's no one in the house at the moment? Right, so that's Harris Terrace, Mill of Mains in Dundee. It's a, a bottom floor flat. Yeah, that's right. The fire brigade will attend. Bye. Bye. Hello, police. That's us getting reports of a bedroom well alight in Harris Terrace. It's a bottom floor flat. OK, thanks. Bye. Doors at 11. Our command and control centre staff will alert the nearest fire station and the appropriate number of fire engines will be immediately dispatched and will mobilise to that fire. In the house, Harris Terrace.
Okay? Get the map out, make sure we're going to have the right address in Harris Terrace. That's just got a fire, we're going to have a fire in a flat in Harris Terrace, so on 2 and BA, we're going to have a fire. 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 Does everybody know where we're going, Harris Terrace wise? Yep. Yep. No means. Yep. Right. Thank you. 